I'm going to show you some tips that will help you to navigate this site and get some use out of it. But first, let me tell you why the site exists. The site exists to serve as a wiki-powered repository for articles, research, and information, which are then curated and organized for your easy retrieval. The Narsal Resources site will be a one-stop shop for anyone seeking registry-related information. Let me give you an idea of how the site works and how you can navigate it. The first thing I should tell you is the site can be found at resources.narsal.org. Now this is what the website looks like and you'll notice that below our header is a streaming uh, ticker tape of the latest articles appearing on the website. But you should know that the website is not designed primarily to uh, feature our articles and opinions. You would find those at narsal.org. Just below the streaming ticker tape, which generally will give you some pointers to what's newest and updated on the site, you'll see our main menu. If you point at each one of these menu items, you'll see a drop down menu appear and you can pick some subtopics. So within advocacy, we have autism, definitive sources, fact or fake and how to. Under audio, we have Narsal in Action, Narsal Podcast Network, and so on. Under life support, we have several uh, different sections on how you can successfully navigate life on the registry. Under news and events, we have our event calendar, Narsal news, Narsal affiliate news, and registry news, three different sections on our website. We also have a great database and directory of organizations in the criminal justice reform movement. And we hope to be adding some databases in the future, which will give you ways to uh, conveniently contact people uh, that you need to contact. Under research, we have academic papers and court decisions, but we hope to add a few more sections there. And in the video, you can see every one of the conference videos Arsal has um, put on uh, by year so uh, you can just scroll to which year conference you want to see and uh, click there and then finally you can click on this link right here to take you to the main narsal.org website now if you don't know where to find what you're looking for and you're just looking for something that might not be readily apparent on one of these menus you can use our search function right here click on that and type in whatever you're searching for and it will take you to a page that's related to that. Now let's take you to what the website's going to look like on a mobile device. And honestly, it will look a lot different for some of you who are looking at uh, the website on a tablet or your mobile phone. So let's take a look and see what that's gonna look like for you and what the major difference is going to be. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like for you on a tablet. Notice that all of those menu choices are no longer appearing on the menu bar at the top of the page. Your home button is still there. Your streaming ticker tape is still there. But in order to see the menus, you're going to have to click right here on the little menu icon. Then you'll get a set of menus appear. And then to expand each one of these menu items, all you have to do is click on the, the item and it will expand for you. You can Go ahead and close that up just by clicking on it again. Same thing here. News and events opens up to event calendar, Narsal affiliate and registry news. Also, when you scroll further down on the, uh, the website on your mobile device, the features section will appear uh, in vertical format. And then you'll see the sidebar, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Okay, this is how it looks on a tablet. Just to give you an idea of how it's gonna look on a mobile phone, it will be a lot more condensed, but essentially the same things. You still have to use the drop-down menu here, and you can scroll vertically through all of our features, and then down to the site map, where you can choose uh, topics there as well. At the very bottom, you'll see recent posts and commentary left by uh, browsers on the website. But essentially, it's the same thing in vertical format. 
Okay, so let's go back now to the features section, which we mentioned just briefly. We were scrolling through the website, and we'll go back now to the site on a computer. The features section is right below the menu, and it consists of three parts. Uh, trending, which is some of the most viewed portions of the website, and these will be posts, not databases. The latest, which will be the latest post uh, pointing you to resources on the website, and then featured, which is a selection of items that we want to call some attention to and get you to go look at. These will change from day to day and will not look the same the next time you come back. And under the posts section, you'll see a very similar setup. The post section is right here, and it will list the latest post on the website at the top, and you can scroll back through them as you like. And finally, the sidebar section. The sidebar section is the section to the right of the post section, and I'm talking about this area here below the light bulb icon. You can see where you can follow Narsol and Narsol Resources on Twitter. We'll probably add our Facebook social media links there shortly. You can also search the website using the search box here. And the sitemap here, it serves as an additional menu, uh, fully expanded so that you can go ahead and choose where you want to go. How can you add resources to this website? Because Truly, the website's strength is the knowledge of our members. So let me walk you through how that happens. Let's say that you have knowledge of an academic paper that would be of great assistance to other people doing registry reform research. And this is where the website really shines because it allows your individual knowledge to become shared with the entire group. So that way, people aren't having to reinvent the wheel and rediscover resources that someone in the group already knows about. So let's say you have an academic paper that should be available to other people doing registry reform advocacy. Well, here's what the academic papers page looks like. It's got an introductory portion there and then you have the database. The database is scrollable within the database. So you can see the scroll bar here. In addition to the page scroll bar, you have a database scroll bar here. You can sort the database almost any possible way you can imagine. You can also sort it alphabetically by date or by topic or by title. If you want to add a resource, all you got to do is scroll to the very bottom of this page below the database. You'll see where you have a form asking you to add a research paper. All you have to do is type in the paper's title, the topic, which you would choose from a drop down menu of choices there. You upload the paper if you have it in PDF format or Word format. It really doesn't matter. Uh, try to keep that under two to three megabytes put the publication year so that we can sort them years from now. We can kind of sort out the, the papers that are getting old, the authors. And if you don't have the document to upload, you can also put the URL here so that we can go find it on the internet. And then all you have to do is submit and your resource becomes part of the database. Now it won't show up automatically in the main database. It does go through quality control but it uh, should show up within 24 to 48 hours. All right, so as I said before, the real strength of this website is your knowledge, being able to share what you know with other people in similar circumstances. And if we can do that across the board, rather than each person having to find and catalog and save and retrieve, items individually, we can create a library here where we each benefit from the discoveries of our individual members. So I'm asking you to not only use the site to find what you're needing, but use the site to share what you already know. 
I'm uh, glad you were able to watch the video. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I hope it taught you a little bit about how to use the site and uh, I'd appreciate it if you leave a comment. Thank you very much. My name is Michael McKay and this is resources.narsal.org.